Welcome to Christian Fitness. I'm your host, Robert, along with my co-host and beautiful wife, Lori. And today's program is going to be a stomach. We're going to do nothing but stomach for the entire 30 minutes. So go ahead and go get some comfortable clothing on and get ready. And today we're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to talk about how to determine your heart rate. Yeah, we're going to do that during our fitness facts. We have three fitness facts throughout the show, and they're all going to focus on taking your pulse and getting your heart rate and some of the benefits of that. But let's get ready, Lori. Stomach today. I'm really going to enjoy this show. We're going to start by stretching this first round, just a two-minute stretch. So we'll just start out. I just want to lean to the left and just stretch this right oblique a little bit, just nice and relaxed for a few seconds. Then we'll lean back, kind of limbo, stretch the, oh, the whole stomach on this one. If you haven't seen our show before, I'll explain it while we're stretching. Here, let's go to the right. We exercise for two minutes, and then we take a one minute break, all right? But I want you to really push as hard as you can during that two minutes. So you need the one minute break, all right? Push as hard as you can during the two minutes, and then take a nice one minute breather. And during that one minute break, we're gonna talk about scripture, we'll talk about nutrition, and we'll talk about those fitness facts. Good, let's lean forward. Just bend at the waist. Anyone at any level can do this show, okay? Anything from beginners all the way to advanced. Lori's gonna be doing a beginner's program today. So if you're a beginner, follow along with her. The exercises are a little bit easier. I'm gonna show you some intermediate exercises and then I'm gonna do advanced exercises. So anything from Lori all the way to me, you can do anything in there in between. Good, let's come up. Actually, let's lay down now. Lay on our stomachs. And we're just gonna arch, push up on your arms and just really stretch that whole front of the stomach. I feel so good. Yeah, I can just stay like this for part of the time. Make it a stretching <laughs> show. Really hold your stomach in and pull in. Yeah, we're gonna talk to you a lot during the exercises about different things to do with the stomach, but one of the keys for all the exercises is you wanna pull your belly button down to the floor, especially when you're laying on your back. You wanna actually have your back arched a little bit, all right? You don't lay flat with your back flat. If you've, uh, Ever look at your spine, the way that your spine is shaped, it is not good to lay flat. So actually, especially when exercising, so you actually want to put a pillow or your hands or something under what we call your back pocket, just for a little bit of extra support, but we'll, we'll show you that later. Good, Lori, last couple seconds, try to take your toes up to the back of your head. Just really stretch that out. There she is with that wonderful oh yeah singing. All right, our fitness facts. This will be our first of three. Lori, you talked to us about our pulse. What are you going to tell us about it? Well, to determine your heart rate, it has three main areas. And that is the radial, which is the wrist, the brachial, which is the elbow, and the carotid, which is the lower part of the neck. Some people will go from here down to this part of the neck. So there are three main areas. And I'll do it again. The radial, which is the wrist, the brachial, which is the elbow, break part of the arm, or the carotid, which is the lower part of the neck. Yeah, and the radial is the easiest one for me to find. Yep. It's just right at the base of the thumb. You just slide your fingers up, real simple to get to. The brachial is a little harder. You almost sometimes have to get under the bicep muscle to get to it. So that one's a little bit tougher. And the carotid, about halfway between your ear and your chin, and you can slide it down right along the inside of the wind, right the outside here of the windpipe. That one's a little harder to find too. This one's just simple, it's right in front of you. I like driving that one. Yeah, I do too. <laughs> All right, we'll get to that more later. Okay, we're gonna lay down on our backs. In this first one, we're gonna put our heads toward the camera so you can get a better idea of what we're doing. We're gonna put our hands under our back pocket. And for beginners, Lori is just gonna bring both knees up and then put them back down. Just roll them up and bring them back down. Good. And just do as many as you can for the two minutes. Intermediates, I want you to pull about two or three. And then you can rest. So intermediates, two or three, and then you take a break. Advanced, a little more, we're gonna go straight leg. Keep your legs elevated about six inches off the ground, and pull them all the way up, and then back to six inches. And we're just gonna go the rest of the time, so your feet never touch the ground as an advanced. Just tuck them the whole time. And the key to this is keep your stomach tight as you're doing this. All right, don't relax your stomach, especially if you're a beginner or intermediate and you're gonna put your feet down. Don't relax the stomach, keep the stomach tight. Doing okay, Lori? Doing great. Are you feeling it? Oh yeah, you can feel this burn. This is so good for your stomach. I love these exercises. Yeah, we get a lot of requests from people that, you know, talk about different body parts. How do you work this? How do you work that? So we concentrate a lot on the core because the core is so important. So today we decided we're gonna do nothing but stomach and really work on the core. And this was another request. 
from somebody that sent us an email, I think. Was it an email? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we love hearing from you. So certainly email us your requests. You're going to have to listen to her for her to sing. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little harder to see the clock, so we'll just listen for her. I can't see the clock at all, <laughs> which is probably a good thing for me because I can really feel this burning. There she is. Okay. Huh. All right, Christian Fitness. It's called Christian Fitness because we get into the Word of God, plain and simple. <laughs> we want to take care of these temples of the Holy Spirit by working out, but we also want to get into the Word of God. Lori, what's our scripture for today? Our scripture today is Philippians 4, 8. Finally, brethren, whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are of good report, if there is any virtue and if there is anything praiseworthy, meditate on these. The things which you learned and received and heard and saw in me, do these do, and the God of peace be with you. And the God of peace be with you. Wow. Paul reminded us of that. You know, that is so awesome to think about that because we are supposed to remember that. Yes. Always. Amen. Amen. Okay, let's spin back around. We're going to lay down <laughs> again. It's kind of tough sometimes. You get into the Word and then you got to jump right back into an exercise, but that's what we're doing today. Yeah. <laughs> Beginners, what we're going to call this is our back pocket to the ceiling. So Lori's going to have her knees already bent. As a beginner, she's going to push her back pocket up to the ceiling. Make sure you have your hands underneath or you have a pillow or I think Lori's got a towel over there she can use. But you push your back pocket up to the ceiling. Yeah, and then you rest for a couple seconds. Like I said, anyone at any level can do this. Okay, so she can do one every second or two, one every 10 seconds, or you can just do one for the two minutes. <laughs> Intermediates, I want you to do three or four, and then you rest. So three or four for intermediates, and then you rest. Advanced, same thing, straight leg like we did on the first exercise. You wanna bring them up, up and hold it for two or three, and then come back down. And come up and hold it for two or three, and come down. And I'll try to spare you my <laughs> Casper white legs. <laughs> Fix my pants. So hold it for three or four. You know, I just realized what one of the biggest challenges in this is. It's trying to work with the mic on my side. <laughs> <laughs> All right, make sure you get off the couch at home, like the little animated opening. The Christian Fitness logo comes in, kicks them off the couch, gathers everybody in front of the TV to work out. Don't forget to hold in your stomach when you do this. And don't talk when you're doing it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you should keep your stomach flexed the whole time, which does make it very difficult to talk. Doing okay? Uh, yeah. I hear you take some deep breaths over there. <laughs> <laughs> this was not an easy exercise. No, is... All right, join us in the kitchen for our nutrition tip. Today's nutrition tip is weight loss. There's no magic pill for losing weight, but there is a simple formula. If you're overweight, you need to eat less and burn more. There's a difference between wanting to lose weight and being dedicated to changing your life. You have to change a lot of your habits. It's not easy, but it's the only lasting way to do it. Yeah, start with two simple steps. Step number one is to eat less. It takes your mind about 20 minutes to realize you're full, so slow down and put your fork down after every single bite. And reduce your calorie intake. Substitute bulky vegetables like peppers or high fiber foods like beans. And step number two is to burn more. Muscles burn calories even when you're resting. So try to do resistance or weight training a few days a week and do cardio another three or more days per week. Our nutrition tip for today is change your lifestyle. Eat less and burn more. I just love that nutrition tip. Eat less and burn more. There's a lot to it on the eating less. Make sure you eat the right things, but <laughs> get into that more on another show. All right, next we're gonna stand up for this one and we're gonna do side bends. So I just want you to lean to your left, just kind of reach down towards your calf and then lean down toward the other side. So beginners, you know, just nice and comfortable. Every second or two, you lean over. Intermediates, I want you to go a little quicker, maybe four, two, three, four. 
and relax. And be careful if you're too close to your partner. You guys <laughs> I realize that with my own heads. heads. All right, advance. We're just going to go continuous and reach as far as you can. I like to move my feet a little bit further apart. Just go as hard as you can. You're really going to, it's going to stretch and work the strength of the obliques. I had to look. Reach as far, I'm sorry, reach as far down <laughs> on your leg as you can. I was looking over to make sure we weren't going to hit head. <laughs> <laughs> Set that nutrition tip is so important. It's really, I mean, there's a lot to it, a lot more to it than just those two simple steps, but that's a great way to start. You've got to lower your calorie intake and increase your exercise. The more calories you burn, the less you eat. It's simple, simple math, you're gonna lose weight. But the exercise portion is so important. Get your body active, tune in, watch our show. We work different body parts, so you can watch, you know, you can watch us as much as you want. And it doesn't, oops, sorry. <laughs> and it doesn't mean just because you're working out, you can eat whatever you want either. <laughs> Some people do that. You really have to watch what you eat. Well, that's one of the keys about this show today. This is all stomach. We're doing all stomach exercises. But let's say you have a little extra, you know, if we actually, you know, people have emailed us and said, how do I get rid of the tire and <laughs> some of those things around my waist? You've got to lower, you've got to actually lose the fat, you can't just target the fat. Like let's say you just want to burn your stomach just by doing this stomach show, you've got to change your eating habits as well. All right, Ooh. I'm starting to feel that, huh? <laughs> All right, Lori, you told us how and where, I'm sorry, you told us where to get your pulse, radial, brachial, carotid. What mm -hmm. else can you tell us about? Well, the other part of it is that the no average normal resting heart rate is 60 to 80 beats per minute and women are usually about 10 beats per minute higher than men. So how to test that gauge is 10 seconds multiplied by six or 15 times four or 20 times three or 30 times two. And I'll start at zero and um, on the first beat. Yeah, you always so, start at zero. You don't right. count and go one, you start at zero. So let's do, let's do 10 seconds real quick. I'll watch the timer, are you ready? Okay. You, you start counting and I'll get the time. Zero, one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Ten seconds. So about fourteen. Yep. So ten times six, fourteen times six, be about eighty-four. Right. Which we're working out, so it's going to be a little higher. But we'll exactly. talk about that more. Let's get into the next exercise. Exactly. We're going to lay down again on our sides. Let's lay on our left side. And we're going to do side crunches. So Lori, as a beginner, all she's going to do is raise both legs off the mat and we're gonna switch at one minute. Okay, so you only do this for a minute, and just pump as many times as you can. For intermediates, you wanna do three or four, and then you can rest, three or four, and rest. Advanced, I want you to crunch the upper body and lower body together. And I like to put my arm here just as balance, but don't push off of this arm. You know, I'm not gonna push here. I just wanna use it for balance, and tuck both together. And at one minute, we'll switch. And don't forget to hold your stomach in when you're doing this. Of course, I'm facing the wrong way, can't see the clock. <laughs> but at one minute, we'll switch. That's probably close enough. Good, Lori, let's roll to our right side. And beginners, just a couple. Let's do one at a time, nice and simple. Intermediates, three or four. And advanced, crunch the upper body and lower it together. I should have picked a slower song for this. This song's pretty upbeat. <laughs> yeah, <it laughs> so does, if you go to the beat, you're gonna be worn out. It forces you to kind of want to go faster. Yeah, and flex as you come up. Whether you're doing the advanced, the intermediate, or the beginner, as Lori brings those up, she wants to tighten and flex her stomach. You can even put your hand on it. Put your hand on this oblique. Oh, that's a so good way. So you can way. really feel it. Feel that you're crunching it each time. That's a good reminder. Oh, yeah, that is right. <laughs> she couldn't be more profound with that. <laughs> All right. We encourage you to visit our website, christianfitnesstv.com, and give us your feedback. We talked a lot today about things that we've received from viewers. Laura, we actually heard from someone recently in Texas. Yes, we did. And she said, I wanted to let you know how much I enjoy and appreciate your show. I'm a new viewer in my 60s, 
and I've not been faithful in exercising. I always seem to find too many other things to do. Since I started watching your show, I've not missed a day. I can sure feel that it is helping. I love the tips, and it's a, also a wonderful reminder each day, just before I start dinner, I'm reminded about all our bad choices and have started fixing healthier meals. I now feel like I have someone to help me get back in shape. You, thanks, and God bless your ministry. That is so awesome because she's so reminded about what she's supposed to do before she eats. Yeah. I love that. Watching the show right before you cook. Yeah. <laughs> Quick, healthy reminder. Okay, let's lay back down. Round six of nine. You're doing great. Elia, you better be, so get off your couch. <laughs> Good, put your hands under your back pocket again, or your towel, or pillow. And this is, a lot of people call this a floor sweep. So Lori's gonna bring her legs straight up, and angle, and then angle to the other side. And then she can settle in the middle, rest a second, and then angle, whoops, and angle, <laughs> and then rest. Okay, as I said, this is called a floor sweeper in a lot of places. We have a little different name for it. We like to have fun with our names. We call it a windshield wiper. Only because I feel like this is a windshield wiper on the car. It's <laughs> easier for me to remember the exercise and the motion. Intermediates, I want you to just go continuous. Just side to side. Yeah, be careful with your partner. <laughs> if you're too close together. All right, advanced. A little bit more. We've got a little over a minute left. I want you to come from six inches off the ground like we did earlier. And you're going to come up at a 45 degree angle. So six to 45, six to 45. And we're just going to go continuous. And I'll try not to kick you. It's okay. You know, we really try not to get real technical with all these exercises, with what muscle it does and why and this and that. We try to make this show a lot of fun. We're just trying to encourage you to work out, to get moving somehow, just, just to move and make a difference in your life. This is a lifestyle change. So we really try not to get too complicated. Yeah, we encourage you, you know, if you're a new newcomer to the show, Work out with us for a little while, and then you know, go get a personal trainer, and they can really work with you on a one-on-one -on -one basis. I mean, we can't see what you're doing, or, you know, if you're doing the proper form or where you need specific help, but a personal trainer can do that for you. Yeah, if you're really, really serious about making some huge physical changes, that's what you need to do. Yeah, we just want to get you active. Get off that couch, get in front of the TV, and work out with us. All right. Okay. Boy, I really enjoyed her singing that time. <laughs> All right, Lori, shared some scripture with us earlier. Let's get back into that. Philippians 4, 8 and 9. Finally, brethren, whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are of good report, if there is any virtue, if there is anything praiseworthy, meditate on these things. The things which you had learned and received and heard and saw in me, these do, and the God of peace will be with you. Paul reminded that to us. You know, take account of those things. Fix your mind on them and model the way of your life in living it because that's what's important. Take account of those things that he said and fix your mind on them, and the peace of God will be with you. Amen. Amen. I, I love that scripture. We should, yeah. we should just cover that every break. Or let's just not do this next one. Just, okay. <laughs> no, All right, next one. <laughs> we're going to call this a seated leg lift. So Lori, as a beginner, you're just going to seat, get a good balance with your hands, and just lift one leg at a time. Just alternate legs. Now, as you do that, crunch your stomach, okay? Because you're going to feel a lot of pressure on the quad as you lift, especially if you have heavy shoes on. So there's going to be a lot of pressure on the leg. I want you to tighten your stomach as you do this. This is a stomach show today, so tighten the stomach each time you lift. Intermediates, I want you to bring both legs up together, okay? So both together, do three or four quick ones, and then rest. <laughs> three or four quick ones, <laughs> and rest. Advanced. Minute 15 left, let's see if we can do it. We're going to give you a special one today for the advanced. Don't try this unless you're advanced. We actually want to push up onto, you can use your fists, you can use your palms, you can use your fingertips. I don't recommend fingertips. I may yeah, do don't. it, but <laughs> fists, and then you raise your legs up for about a three or four count. Okay, so hold your legs, three or four, and then down. Come up, three or four, and down. Yeah, I like fists better, gives you better balance. Three or four, and down. Good, I may not talk much more. <laughs> I think I'm going to pray for my husband. <laughs> I'm used to watching him do these, and I still on occasion just look at them and go, 
fingers, his fingers. Lord, watch over his fingers. Yeah, don't do the fingertips. <laughs> yeah, don't. <laughs> Unless you're experienced at it and you can do fingertips push-ups. Yeah, don't. I don't recommend that. Yeah. Don't even do your knuckles unless you really, really are used to doing it and you have conditioned your hands to do that because it's, it is difficult and it does take conditioning. So it's definitely advanced. Oh, that was perfect timing by her. <laughs> All right, Lori, you told us where to get our pulse, how to count it, what else can you tell us? The heart rate decreases during recovery, so measure as soon as you stop exercising and get a 15 second reading. Have fun with it. Measure against workout partners or family members. Keep a chart to gauge your recovery time. Yeah, the important thing about that is the better shape you're in, the faster you recover. So your heart rate will start to decrease. So, and this is a great program to do that with. We exercise for two minutes hard. During that one minute break, as soon as you're done with the two minutes, start taking your pulse, get it for 15 seconds. And then two months from now, see what your pulse was. And it's gonna be a lot better. And then your resting heart rate is gonna be much better yet. We're not gonna get into resting right. heart rate and target heart rate and all those today. We don't have time, but look those up on your own, all right? Round eight of nine, we're getting close. This is just gonna be a knee up Lori loves this one, a little march for her. But we just want you to bring your knee up and crunch your stomach as you bring it up. So just alternate your knees as a beginner. Yeah, you can put your hands up so that you get them about waist high. Yeah, try to get them at least waist high. Oh. <laughs> yeah, touch your hand. Get your kids out to march around the room with you. Good, intermediates. Do about three or four quick ones. Then you can rest, but crunch the stomach. You're not just lifting your thigh, you're crunching your stomach, okay? Crunch, crunch, crunch. We're not doing crunches today, we're crunching during all the exercises. All right, advanced, bring the knee as high as you can and we're gonna go continuous. Just try to bring it all the way up to the chest if you can or waist high, whatever you can, and go as quick as you can for the last minute, 11. Really crunch the stomach on each one. It's not about the thigh lifting, it's about the stomach crunching it. I like that you were doing this with your hand because it was yeah, you could feel to it. remind you, yeah, mm -hmm. to. Hold in your stomach. Kind of like the side crunch yeah. we did. You actually put your hand on the oblique. Yep. Here, you can actually put it on the lower abdomen. And feel it crunch yeah. each time you pull it up. You're going as fast as I am. Are you? <laughs> <laughs> You're going to be out of breath. He always reminds me to slow down <laughs> when we practice these at home. It's like, wait a minute, what, what workout are you doing? <laughs> you march as quick as you want. If you want to march around the studio, go ahead. I was going to ask you if you were ready to sing that song. Uh, <laughs> um, we're Christian soldiers. Yeah. <laughs> now nah, we'll go with the music we have today. Although we do have a lot of shows that we do use special music. We've had Brian Bates on. We've had Matthew West. Yeah. Just great music. So I hope you really enjoy those shows. All right. Now I'm starting to feel it. What is that? Eight rounds out of nine? Only one round left? Starting to feel it. <laughs> All right, go to our website, christianfitnesstv.com, or you can get to us through CTN's website, which is ctnonline.com. Lori, what about our website? Well, our website, I love our website, and we've added something new on our website, and it's the Salvation Call, and that it truly is our heart, is that everyone reaches the salvation of Jesus Christ. But there are a lot of inf there's a lot of information on our website, and it's always changing because we work on it. So bear with us as we work on it, but there's so much information on there, so please go to our website. Yeah, be patient. We aren't web developers or artists, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's a website, but we try to update it as often as we can. But go there and give us your feedback. That's how we got the feedback today from yep. Texas, the 60-year-old that just started working out and is making healthier eating choices. We love hearing those things, and we pray for the emails that we get. Yes, so definitely, we do. You know, correspond with us. We love hearing from you. All right, here it is, last round, round nine. This is going to be a, it's kind of difficult to explain, it's an upper <laughs> bend, upper torso. I want you to cross your arms over your chest, point your right elbow at the screen, and then your left elbow. So beginners, you just rotate back and forth, and we're just calling this an upper twist. So you twist, 
and twist. And think of pointing your elbow. That'll get the rest of the torso going, okay? Intermediates, you wanna roll three or four times, quick. And then you might rest in the middle. So three or four, quick. And then come to the middle and rest. Advanced, I'm sure you figured it out by now, right? Continuous. <laughs> and lean back a little further than the beginner of the intermediates. Really arch the lower back and just rotate side to side. You know, I do caution, I wanna caution you on this one. If you do have back problems, skip this one, all right? Do one of the early exercises we did that you can do. Maybe the lay down and do the knees up or just do the march. If you're already standing, just do that march again. If you have a bad back, avoid this one, okay? Well, the other thing too is that we are not physicians, so make sure that you get checked out by physicians. We are not, so we don't answer medical questions, so we always encourage people checked out by your physician before you do a lot of these exercises. And on this one, lean back a little bit, okay? Almost like you're doing a limbo. That'll keep the <laughs> stomach tight the entire time. Okay, if I stand upright, you know, all that's gonna do is twist the obliques a little bit. I wanna lay back <laughs> and torque. Really lean back like a limbo. So my stomach's been tight almost the entire time. So my voice sounds a little funny. <laughs> I know she's going to sing pretty soon. Yes, she is. All right, that's it for our stomach workout. Woohoo! Oh, I feel good. Glad it's over, though. <laughs> I got excited about that. <laughs> you know, I said earlier, our heart about our website, our heart, Rob's in my heart, and the Lord's heart is that he wishes that no man should ever not know who he is. So, the most important thing to us is that you come to the salvation of the Lord. And if you've had any questions about that, pray this prayer with me. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. I ask you to forgive me of my sins. I ask you to come into my heart. I know that you died on the cross for me. In Jesus' name, amen. Know that the Lord loves you and you have received him in your heart. And he has forgiven you and you now are a child of God. Amen. Amen. Romans 10, 9. It's just, it says it all. It says it all. Confess with your mouth. We always close our program with 3 John 1, 2. Beloved, I pray that in all respects you may prosper and be in good health just as your soul prospers. Thank you so much for joining us. Hope you enjoyed that stomach workout and God bless you. We love you guys. Mm -hmm.